My name is Jonathan Michael Starwalt. I'm an art school dropout. <laughs> the name of the book is Marathon. It's a paranormal dark comedy. Think Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Stanley Kubrick. Uh, tells the story of Wolfgang Michelangelo Hunt, a skeptical young man who lives in Chicago and one day kills his roommate. So after he kills his roommate, he himself is killed, but he comes back and what does he do? He runs to Canada, of course. Who wouldn't? <laughs> on the way, gets in a horrible car accident, flies through the windshield, hits his head on the roadside, and wakes up with this guy, this hippie, smelly-ass guy, the Reverend P.S. Nightwalker, in front of him. They continue up the road on foot, and they get to talking a bit, and the Rev has some background to him. He's able to introduce Wolf to some interesting concepts. Ten like, seconds the vampire they meet, or the angel of death, or the fact that everything in his life wasn't a coincidence and his mother is actually a demon. <laughs> <laughs> I have some uh, sample galleys available if anyone's interested. Uh, it's all published currently, available on my website. For well, you know, uh, more and more authors are required to get up and talk about their work. When you go on the radio and you hopefully, you know, you got a television somewhere, you got to be able to explain what your work is and you got to be, you know, kind of a guy who's <laughs> giving up your card. Uh, and you, you got up there and you took hold of this stage and you had us all in the palm of your hand right from the beginning. I'm an art school dropout. I loved it. Man. I thought it was great and it was a great performance. and and. You, you timed it, you had like exactly a minute. I don't know how you did that exactly. <laughs> From the hip, it seemed like it, but you know, you, you weren't firing blanks. Uh, I, I, I think it's a fantastic uh, story, and I thought it was really well told. Uh, I, I, I thought it was a really great pitch. Uh, Lee and I are hysterical over here because on Jonathan's card, underneath it says person. Oh, they're all different? They're all different. Oh, okay. Writer. okay. Well, well, one of the things that we, we always talk about is that the, the uh, and David alluded to this earlier, is that the voice of your book has to come through in your pitch. And your deadpan style is hysterical and totally comes through in the pitch. And in this person thing as well, like I, I once agented a book that was called Loser Goes First about this guy who just could not accomplish anything. And his bio was just his, it said, Dan Kennedy lives in New York City. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so it's clear he hadn't accomplished anything. And I thought that was one of the funniest bios I had ever seen. So you, you've done like, now I, I'm gonna slightly disagree with David in that I loved your, your sensibility and your voice, but I, didn't have a great sense of story. And I would like to have more of a beginning, middle, and end, or not even a final end, but something that we want to know what's going to happen. So I, I think it can be tightened up a bit, and, and um, you can still have the little bit of the wandery voice, but still have it tighter. <coughs> You know, I, uh, I was gonna say I really liked like that pitch too. Actually, it uh, it reminded me of a. Uh, it, it sounds like an Alex Cox movie. I don't know. Yeah. All, uh, yeah. But yeah, just uh, uh, he he made a movie in the I think late eighties called Straight to Hell uh, that had uh, <laughs> Courtney Love and the Pokes, uh, and uh, it, it was a completely uh, anarchic, just uh, weird movie. And that that pitch actually reminded me. It was a really charming pitch. It sounds. It,